Welcome to the National Tile Museum, a hidden gem nestled within the Madre de Dios convent in Lisbon, Portugal. As you step through its doors, prepare to embark on a journey through the captivating world of Azulejo, Portugal's most distinctive art form. Now, the way the Tile Museum is laid out is quite fascinating. It starts right back in the 16th century. This was created back in 1580 and you'll find collections of tiles from all over Portugal are displayed throughout and they're displayed by the century. So we're in the 1600s and we'll move to the 1700s. Discovering the intricate craftsmanship and the stories behind these exquisite decorative tiles is an absolute treat. It's experiences like this that really take you to the heart of a destination, so you can learn about its history and traditions. It is one of many reasons Viking is known as the thinking person's cruise line. This is what I didn't expect to find in the National Tile Museum. Now there's an incredible history on this site. It was once a convent and back in the 14th century, Queen Leonor lived here. She was childless and she decided to live the rest of her life out as a humble nun. She did that. Now, she created or commissioned at least a beautiful chapel, which was built down on the lower level of this building. A hundred years later, King John III created what is simply spectacular, this amazing church behind me. And when you talk about wow factor, you can't help but be blown away by this. Now this 23 meter long depiction of 14 kilometers of Lisbon's shoreline was done back in 1735. What makes it so significant is in 1755, there was a massive tsunami and earthquake that destroyed the vast majority of Lisbon as we knew it at the time. Now the architects returned to rebuild the city and they were able to use this as the guide. So what we see today in modern Lisbon is very similar to what was here before the earthquake struck. The museum opens exclusively for Viking guests, so you can wander through the exhibits and participate in the workshop. You'll feel as though the museum is all yours. And it all finishes here in the 20th century collection. It's full of contemporary artworks that are challenging and inspiring all at the same time. Now, I've got to tell you, I never thought that I would end up going to a tile museum, but I understand why this is the national museum that is the most popular destination in all of Portugal. It really is fascinating, inspiring, and it's something that you've got to make sure you do when you're here in Lisbon. Mm -hmm.